I was in the Marines for four and a half years. Um, I was forced out of the military. I still wanted to be in, but they basically told me I had too many injuries uh, with my TBI, my PTSD, and everything I have just accumulated all throughout the years. And so when I got out, like, I wouldn't leave my house ever because, you know, being in crowds, loud noises, my heart starts racing. I, you just, I start going back into survival mode because at that time, I didn't know how to handle myself. I didn't know what I was doing. But then my cousin was actually coming down to Tom's ranch here to get a service dog. And he's like, let's check it out and let's see if they might be able to do something for you. But I was just like, like, what's the dog gonna do for me? You know, because I didn't trust anybody or anyone else, you know, to do anything for me. The Patriotic Service Dog Foundation supports all the things that it takes to get these dogs trained up properly and provided to our veterans and first responders at no cost to them. We have a slogan that is 22 to zero. And what that represents is that 22 veterans a day commit suicide. And our goal is to make that zero. And so that's where the dogs really, really help and change things. And so they can be functional humans again and really enjoy life. The difference between a service dog and say a therapy dog is a service dog is trained to perform specific tasks that mitigates a person's disability, such as turning on lights, picking things up for them, interrupting them with a nightmare or flashback, uh, that type of thing. Most of the veterans that come to us have post-traumatic stress disorder and traumatic brain injury. So we teach our dogs various tasks that mitigate those issues, okay? So we will teach them to block, which creates a buffer. Block is definitely like a big one uh, for me because I need that buffer. You know, someone's getting too close to me and my anxiety starts going up and he gives me that space. So the training process here, uh, you gotta come at least two days a week. Up, up, up because you really got to bond with the dog and that's the whole point. It's like the dog that you might be getting paired up with, he's already trained, you know? We're basically training you on how to handle the dog. Watch. This is Gabe with Doc. Okay, Doc. Oh boy. And um, Gabe and Doc are working on doing all the obstacles. Up, up, up. Up, up, up. Doc here, come on. Gabe's really become a special guy to us. He, uh, came to us, a Marine, that really was struggling and ended up getting a dog that's very special to me, Pistol. You know, my first impression of Gabe when he came was there's just something about him. I liked his character and then watching him kind of gravitate to Pistol. When I first met Pistol, I was a little intimidating. He has an intimidating look about him. Tom had a, uh, about six other dogs at that time. But I was like really, like I, I went to Pistol, I went to go check out all the other dogs, and then I just kind of went back to him. And I guess Tom had noticed that, you know, he kept on coming up to me, like he was interested in me. So the real key to this is matching the dog with the person. But typically, the dog chooses the handler. And it's, it's fun to watch because it just totally clicks. It really did like save my life because that was my start again. You know, for me not isolating, I started coming out more because I had to come here and I had to train with Pistol. If I wanted to be with him, I had to come out here. And that just slowly started getting me out of my shell. So I started feeling better about myself and I started feeling better about going out in public because I had my buddy Pistol with me, which allowed me to like go out, you know, to the VA to seek help and like all that stuff I was not doing before I came here. We saw that Gabe has a nice natural touch with dogs. He's, he really likes dogs and he's, he's just a genuine, he's got a soul about him that the dogs feel it from him. So Tom was in need of a, another trainer and he gave me a shot. And, you know, I'm forever grateful for him because this is by far the best job I've ever had. Like, it's, it's not a job to me, it's not work. It's, I love this place. He's just worried. I mean, Gabe's good. And when you watch him train, uh, it's really it's inspiring. I was about two weeks away from taking my life, in all reality. So when I say, like, they saved my life, they really did. This place is important, man. 
I thank God for this place every day because it really did save my life. And now when I see another dog gets paired up and I see that love and I see that joy, that makes me happy. Because I know, you know what? It's not so long ago that was me. Tom and Terry saved my life and I owe them so much. My family owes them so much. And I want to do that for someone else. And get them out of the, the same situation that I was in. I want to help them navigate out of that. Because there's light at the end of the tunnel. You just gotta get through all that muck.